EV Revolution show is supported in part by Budget Safe Solar. If you are considering solar in most any part of North America, give my friends a call. They will take the time to listen to your specific situation and help you reach a decision about what's available to you and what makes the most sense. If you would like to join the growing solar industry, they'd like to speak with you. Go to www.budgetsafesolar.com to contact them. Well, hello there and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, your host. Thanks very much for tuning into this special edition. I'm here in Los Angeles, California at the Pacific Design Center in West Hollywood for the GM Blazer EV reveal here in, in LA. And uh, obviously by now, by the time you're watching my show, you've already seen a lot of the stats and stuff on it. So what I'm going to try to do is just cover some of that information again go through some of the particulars and hopefully get a couple of interviews with some folks here. But I'm, I want to thank GM Canada for inviting me down. Really stoked about this. Let's get into it. So Chevrolet revealed their first ever all-electric 2024 Blazer EV. This is expanding the brand's growing EV portfolio, and it makes EV ownership much more accessible and driving Chevrolet, as they say, into the heart of the growing mid-size electric crossover segment, which of course is the biggest segment there out there. The Blazer EV is based on GM's Altium platform, which is their go-to all-electric architecture for the next generation models of all-electrics coming from General Motors. With athletic styling that elevates the heralded design established in 2018 by the gas-powered Chevrolet Blazer and performance cues inspired by the Camaro and Corvette. With design and engineering developed to live up to the legacy of the iconic Super Sport Performance designation, the Blazer EV SS offers customers the most powerful experience in the lineup. It features an exclusive performance all-wheel drive propulsion configuration, unique WOW, what Chevrolet calls Wide Open Watts mode, enabling up to 564 horsepower and up to 648 pound-feet of torque, and 0 to 96 kilometers per hour in less than four seconds, and that's based on GM's current estimates. Staying with the design, each of the Blazer EV's trims share a muscular, athletic profile enabled, of course, by the Altium platform, including tout, converging body lines. They convey motion, while prominent front fender extractor vents are a nod to Chevrolet's motorsports legacy. The distinctive trims take on their own characters. The LT features a monochromic appearance and standard 19-inch wheels, while the RS strikes a sportier presence with a black grille and other black ass accents, along with standard 21-inch wheels. The SS serves up the most aggressive aesthetic with a unique front grille, two-tone color scheme featuring a black roof and A-pillars that complement the Blazer EV's body color palette standard 22-inch wheels, and more. Designers also elevated the Blazer EV's presence further on the RS and SS models with a bold dual-element LED exterior lighting signature that also has choreographed lighting sequences, which activate when the driver approaches or walks away. The effect features a full light bar and illuminated bow tie emblem on the front. The Blazer EV is a two-row vehicle which sits in the mid-size SUV segment for General Motors and supports a five-passenger layout. Thanks to a flat floor, the interior offers a spacious cabin and good storage options. Inside, a refined cabin also makes a modern design statement. Like the exterior, many of its elements draw inspiration from Chevrolet sports cars and performance heritage, such as a flat-bottom steering wheel for the RS and SS trims and sculpted vents inspired by turbines. An expansive 17.7 inch diagonal color touchscreen is the focal point of the cabin and the command center for the vehicle's infotainment system and additional features. A large 11 inch diagonal color driver information center in the instrument cluster complements the central touchscreen. 
where the, the interior standard ambient lighting with personalization function is available on the RS and SS trims. And these trims offer design cues that are unique to them, including blue and red contrasting stitching on the RS and suede microfiber seating on the SS, with adrenaline red seating surfaces and available argon orange accents. Standard heated seats and heated steering wheel is available on all trims. And ventilated front seats on the RS and SS, along with heated rear outboard seating positions, are also standard on the SS and available on the RS trim. Now the Blazer EV features Chevrolet's latest charging, infotainment and driver assisted technologies that work together holistically, offering customers great convenience, comfort and confidence when it comes to making the transition to an all-electric vehicle. One of the unique features of the Blazer EV is that there's no button to push to start the vehicle. With hands-free start, the driver simply pushes the brake pedal after closing the door and the Blazer EV is ready to drive with sufficient charge. The key fob also authorized the hands-free start system. Other technology highlights include powered opening charge port door. It features a powered opening when the door is pushed, navigation to charging stations and route planning. Through the available My Chevrolet app, this feature helps locate and plot routes to charging stations. Regenerative braking comes standard with all electric vehicles, and the Blazer EV also includes one pedal driving, which can slow the vehicle to a full stop using only the accelerator pedal. There is a presence-based liftgate. For convenience, the tailgate can open hands-free when a customer with a key fob is recognized by the sensors at the rear of the vehicle, which is standard on all trim levels. And GM's Super Cruise is available as well on all trim levels, allowing drivers to travel hands-free on divided and compatible highways in the U.S. and Canada. In addition to these features, the Blazer also offers latest ADAS technologies, including reverse automatic braking and advanced park assist, automatic emergency braking, forward collision alert, front pedestrian braking, follow distance indicator, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and IntelliBeam. Now, GM did not provide the sizing for the battery pack, but they did state that the driving range is estimated up to 515 kilometers or 320 miles on a full charge on the RS rear wheel drive version. Charging is supported AC up to 11 kilowatts for level two, and at a DC fast charging capable station, you can get up to 190 kilowatts of a peak rate. This rate provides approximately 125 kilometers or about 78 miles in 10 minutes for charge. Just having a quick couple of minutes inside the Blazer, one of the ones here. It's a, it's a big, big size SUV. It's a really good size SUV. Uh, lots of room in here. I mean, obviously we can't drive these and do much with them. They're static and they're early, very early, but uh, you know, I like the looks of it. Very comfortable seats. And even on these really early production vehicles, fit and finish is nice, so good job. All right, so you guys know I like to do interviews, so I'm here with Doug Houlihan. How are you, Doug? Good, Good, Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Doug's the executive uh, executive engineer on the Blazer EV program. Did I get that right? Executive chief engineer. Executive chief engineer. I always forget something. My, my viewers know I always screw things up, so it's all good. Sure. Thanks for taking the time, Doug. I know it's kind of crazy after the announcement. Super stoked, as the viewers know about GM and what you guys are doing. Tell me a high level some of the you know the sure. pluses of the, the new EV, uh, sure. the Blazer EV. Yeah, the Blazer EV starts with the Altium propulsion system, yep. Yep. which we designed across GM's portfolio for this modular capability. Yep. And with that, we were able to package three different battery sizes. We took the largest size, we pushed the wheels out yep. and set the wheelbase, yep. and then we integrated it to the underbody with a low center of gravity, and if I show you in the rear seat, yep. we got this flat load floor. That's the beauty of that platform, right? Exactly. And lots of interior space, all that kind of stuff. Well, let me tell you a little bit yep. about the drive configuration. Okay. So we've got front wheel drive, yep. rear wheel drive, and all wheel Which drive. Which is exciting on that, yes. right? that was a and surprise. And actually yeah. two different all wheel drive systems. Yep. So we have basically, on the LT, we go with the front wheel drive. Yep. And then with the two LT, we do front wheel drive and all wheel drive. Okay. And then when we go to the RS, we put rear wheel drive. We put a larger rear drive unit. Right. Oh, okay, so more power. And that gets more power. And then what we do on this SS, yep. which I have behind me, yeah. is we put the front drive unit in, combined with the large rear drive unit, okay. and we get 557 horsepower, horsepower and 648 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah. 
Nice. So that's what's pretty cool about it yeah. is that Ultium has the flexibility to plug and play these different drives. Absolutely, absolutely. And you yeah, know, pick and choose for consumers, right? Exactly. Give them the choice. We, we're they we're want. giving them the choice. All right, we can talk a little bit about range. Yeah. So like on the LT, the one LT it gets 247 miles of range. Nice. And on our real wheel drive, yeah. we get 320. Okay. And on this vehicle that you see behind me, the SS, we get 290. 290, that's the number I thought it was going to so be. So it's a Perfect. pretty good number. And then yeah. speaking of SS, yep. we've got lots of technology yep. and lots of cool things. We've got these 22-inch wheels. Yes. We've got front Brembo brakes. Yep. We've yep. got a sport tune chassis. Yep. We've got Super Cruise standard. We've got heads-up display standard. Yep. You know, just all kinds of neat you know, technology to, to help the customer. You know, even our the large 17.7 screen that Justin talked about, yep. just really cool, and it's a freeform display. Right. So it gives right. the ability to have all the data across the entire right. screen okay. and leverage that 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 really large screen that we have. Yeah. Well, so, we think we think our customers are going to be extremely yeah. excited about the Blazer EV yep. because of the choices that we have. But this is this is an opportunity to have a different experience and. The level of performance that you see in this SS, yeah. I mean, we're talking zero to 60 in less than four seconds. I know, it's amazing. That's man. something that yeah. we really can't offer on our current Blazer, which we're really excited about as well. I know. But, but this one's got a, just a different level of technology. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, great design presence. We've got bigger tire OD, yep. bigger tires, and yep. we've got 19 inch wheels on the LT, yep. 21's on the RS, and 22's on the SS. And then we're doing that police pursuit vehicle. Yeah. And that'll be that based cool. on a real wheel drive yep. and that performance all wheel drive okay. that we offer on the SS. And the, lar and the largest battery pack you could cram in It'll there, It'll get basically. the largest yeah. of our three battery sizes. Excellent, exactly. excellent. What we did, as I mentioned earlier, is we, we took the largest battery size, and that set the wheelbase. Yeah. And then we, we shaped the underbody around it, and then we created that flat load floor. And right. when you go over the bumps, it's like, really, that's all you got? Yeah. It's really solid. Nice, so. nice. Any final thoughts about the vehicle? You know, how stoked are you guys in GM in the direction you're moving? Yeah, we're extremely excited. Yeah. We think that this has the, the level of choices that Chevrolet is going to be extremely proud of, and the customers yes. are going to have just front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive. In fact, on the SS, we have wow, the yeah. wide open wide. That's too. right. That's so, right. lots of great technology, lots of safety features, and uh, we'll, uh, we're, it's, and this is a big segment. So, we're all in, yep. and we're really excited. Well, thanks, Doug. It's all an right, honor well, to meet you. Thank you very right, much thank for you. your time. Appreciate thanks. it. Now, the Blazer EV models won't be coming until the summer of 2023, but they've already talked about pricing. So GM's going to start with the 2LT in the RS models, and they're going to go on sale, as I mentioned, next year in 2023 in the summer. Now, prices in Canadian dollars start at 56598 MSRP and $61,298 for the RS model. The SS model will follow later in 2023, priced starting around $80,998. And then in the early part of 2024, the 1LT will come out then. It'll have a, a base price of $51,998 Canadian. Additional details and ordering information will be available closer to the start of production. General Motors has now opened reservations for this, and you can go onto the website, see this link, and get more information as well as if you're interested for fleet or commercial businesses, you can see this other website. Finally, the Blazer EV will be produced at GM's Ramos Arispe, Mexico production facility, which manufactures the current Blazer. All right, so I'm wrapping this up, uh, the chaos of mayhem, that is a new reveal. Thanks very much for tuning in. That's it for this episode. I appreciate you watching on YouTube. If you are supporting me on Patreon, thank you very much. Always very humbled by that. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at the new Blazer EV. GM continues the march forward. Next up on there in another month or so will be the Equinox EV. So really stoked for that. So keep watching them. Thanks very much for tuning in. And until the next episode, I will see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.